Now, back at the beginning of the chapter, we did some stuff, we drawing like some things out on our coordinate planes, and we could do it back then, but I was like, oh, we could use the Pythagorean identities. There's sometimes where we're not actually able to do that drawing stuff. They want us to find sine of 2x. Oh, uh, I can draw that angle, but drawing it accurately twice is going to be, ugh, I don't really know how to do that. So, shoot, um, I would. it would be sure nice if we knew something that sine of 2x equaled. Well, we do. Sine of 2x will be 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. Okay, so this equals, according to our sine double angle, it is 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. That's just my double angle identity. And hey, guess what? We already know this. <laughs> they gave it to us. How nice of them. So we get 1 over the square root of 5. Um, and then we get a 2. That 2 still there. And then we just got to figure out what cosine of x is. And they gave us a oh, shoot. All they told us is that it was negative. Um, they didn't tell us the exact value of it. Okay, well, that's fine. We can figure that out. Um, I'm going to do it with the xy axis. Um, you could do this with Pythagorean relationships. I'm going to do it with xy axis because that's what I feel like right now. So I want where cosine is negative. So cosine's negative over here and cosine's negative over there. But keep in mind, sine is positive. So sine's only going to be positive here. So I don't want that one just want that top one. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So my opposite side is going to be 1, and then we got the square root of 5. So then i got to figure out my x value. So it would be x squared plus 1 squared equals the square root of 5 squared. So x equals plus or minus 5 minus 1. Square root of 4, x is going to be plus or minus Two, but I want to go negative two because I'm going to the left. So cosine is going to be negative two over square root of five. Okay, cool. Now we just got to put this all together, put it in a pie, and we're going to be great. So square root of five times the square root of five is just five. And 2 times 1 is 2 times negative 2. We get negative 4 fifths for our answer. Neat. All right, let's try just one more of those things. So we've got sine is 1 over 7, and cosine is that is that. We want to figure out what the cosine of 2x equals. So, shoot, if only I had something that equaled the cosine of 2 uh, angle. Okay, well, let's take a look. Now, we get options, remember, with cosine. We can choose whichever one of these we want. So I could do this one, and I need cosine and sine. Or I could do this one that I only need to know what sine is. Or I could do this one where I only need to know what cosine squared is. Let me steal this real quick. Okay, so here we've got it. So which one of these do we want to use? Now, if I use the top one, I'd have to know what cosine of x is. And I don't know what it is. All I know is that it's positive. Uh, if I use this one, again, I'd really need to know what cosine is. I don't know what cosine is. I just know it has to be positive. If I use this one, I just need to know what sine is. And they told me already. Those idiots, they gave me everything I needed. <laughs> so let's just do 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Okay, well, we know what sine squared is. It's uh, 1 seventh. So it's 1 minus 2 times uh, 1. It's not 1 seventh. It's 1 over the square root of 7 squared. Okay, well, that equals 1 minus... Uh, two sevenths, which equals seven sevenths minus two sevenths, five sevenths. And we're done, just like that. So easy. So you can see that could have been more complicated 
if I had picked to do this one or if I had picked to do that one, but I'm all about that easy button. So I'm just gonna hit the easy button and use the one that works best, the problem that I'm dealing with. Had they given me cosine right there, I would have picked that bottom one. Um, it's only if I'm feeling real frisky if I wanted to do the cosine squared and the sine squared. So ends our discussion on double angle identities. So keep in mind, sine is just a nice, easy, like two sine square, sine cosine. So the big twos are my big hint that it's a double angle identity. Cosine, you get those options. Keep in mind, it looks very, very similar to the Pythagorean identity, but cosine and sine are being subtracted instead of being added, and that makes it a whole new identity. Um, and that's all. Thank you so much for watching the video, and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.